Here it is, the Zebra Light SC 600 F3 Plus. I wonder if you can abbreviate that and say it quicker. I don't know. Anyway, I've been carrying this thing for almost four years now. I don't know when I ordered it, but I do know that this thing came to me when my youngest boy was a newborn and he's fixing to have his fourth birthday. So, as you can see, it's got a little character to it. But it has been an awesome light. I carry this thing probably three to four times a week. It's one of my lights that's in the rotation quite a bit more than others because I carry it around on the farm and around the house. I don't take it out much. It's a workhorse. I use it around on the property, out in the woods. Very powerful little light. So, wanted to show y'all the strobe patterns that are in this light. There's plenty of reviews on this thing, so I didn't want to go into too much detail with it. There's A lot of power modes on this thing. There's the lowest setting. And in here it doesn't really show up much, but that's moonlight mode. So we'll take it outside in the dark and I'll show you all the strobes. The reason I wanted to go through them and show you what they did is because of the instructions that came with this light doesn't really tell a whole lot of what is available in the light. Check this out. Alright, so that image I just showed you on screen was pulled from Zebra Light's website. And that's all they say about the strobe that's on this. So that's why I wanted to elaborate on it a little bit more. Right now I'm showing you the 1800 lumen. That's the maximum brightness that this flashlight has to offer. And it just lights up everything. Sorry about all the pollen flying by. Looks like it's snowing, I know, but nope. It's those pine trees kicking their pollen out. Got a full moon tonight. All right, so let's uh, turn this thing off and we'll go into strobe. So by tapping it three times, you go into strobe pattern and that's the first option. It does maintain a memory. That's what I was using earlier today to get people's attention inside the house in the daylight. And it does work. It gets their attention very well. Here's the next one. Don't see anything, huh? That's because it flashes out at its lowest setting. Extremely low lumen every couple of seconds. It's pretty cool if you were going to set your flashlight down somewhere and you needed to find it. Well, let's go to the next one. So that's the extreme brightness. 1800 lumen flashing at the same amount of seconds. I'm seeing somewhere around four seconds. No, five seconds. My bad. Alright, so then the next one is that one. Flashes a little bit slower. And then back to that one. So that's what you have to offer. I'm triple clicking to get into strobe so it's kind of hidden away and then double clicking to go through the four different strobe patterns. Pretty cool.